Millions of people are using ChatGPT every day in different fields. Students ask it for feedback on their assignments. Companies use it in chatbots to help with customer service. So if you are new to coding, you might be curious if ChatGPT can make your learning experience simpler. Well, the good news is it can. Stick around and I'll show you how to make it happen. Hi there, my name is Akram and I'm a web developer based in Hamburg, Germany. Everyone's been talking lately about ChatGPT, so I decided to test it. And while it is far from replacing a human programmer, it can still be a great tool if you just start learning to code. These tips will help you make the most of ChatGPT to accelerate your coding progress and improve your efficiency. Let's start with tip number one, design a study plan. ChatGPT can help you design a study plan when you're starting to learn coding. It gives you a personalized recommendation based on your individual needs and learning style. It also provides you plenty of resources. This includes online courses, textbooks, and video tutorials tailored to your skill level and learning preferences. Just ask the bot to suggest a learning path for you. It will offer personalized advices based on your level of experience, starting with the basics and gradually building up to more advanced topics. This will help you identify your strengths and weaknesses and adjust your study plan accordingly. Let's try it together. Here I started with a simple question. Could you give me a study plan to start learning Python? It's only a matter of seconds before I had a detailed study plan on my screen. And it's pretty decent one, honestly. As you see, the plan provides clean steps along with relevant resources to assist you in the learning process. So you can personalize it even further. Request a detailed plan specifically for the first week of learning, for example. Opt for a video tutorial's recommendation instead of written resources if that's your preferences. You can also ask for a detailed time management framework that outlines how much time each step should take. You can keep asking for adjustments to your plan until it matches your schedule and learning preferences. Let's move to tip number two. Use ChatGPT as your tutor. It's pretty common to get stuck on a coding problem. Like when I just started learning, I remember often seeking more experienced programmer or online communities for help. For you, ChatGPT could be your mentor. Simply type in your question and it will provide an answer. It can also help you understand programming concepts. Let's say you're having trouble with loops in Python. ChatGPT will not only give you a clear definition of the concept, but it will also elaborate with examples to help you better understand it. Or maybe you're having trouble grasping the differences between two concepts. ChatGPT can help clarify any ambiguity and it's a lot quicker to get information than to look it up elsewhere. For example, what is the difference between a list and a tuple in Python? Here, I'm going to ask, what's the difference between a list and a tuple in Python? And there, I got a clear answer within seconds. I can also assure you it is correct. Tip number three, get ChatGPT to test and complete your code. When learning to code, you will often need someone to double check your work. That's when ChatGPT comes in handy. It can check if your code is working properly. For example, if a code is designed to perform a mathematical calculation, ChatGPT can provide various inputs, values, and compare the output values with the expected ones to check if the code is accurate. Plus, it can check if codes are well-structured and follow the standard coding practices. For instance, if a code has multiple loops, ChatGPT can check if there is any redundant code that can be optimized. It can also suggest ways to improve the code based on its analysis. For example, if a code contains a long and complicated if-else statement, ChatGPT can suggest using a switch case statement instead to simplify the code. It can also complete codes that have missing pieces or require improvement. For instance, if a code has a missing function or variable, it can suggest what to add based on its understanding of the context of the code. You will need to explain your code and what it's supposed to do in order to get a relevant answer, but it's still much faster than doing it all by yourself. Tip number four. Use ChatGPT to fix bugs in your code. Debugging code is another useful application of ChatGPT. As someone who has been coding for a while, I know that even great coders make mistakes. The process of debugging can be time consuming. ChatGPT can help you make it less tedious. From misplaced brackets and commas to logical errors, GPT can spot errors and could take your days to identify in a few seconds. The following study found that ChatGPT's box fixing performance is similar to deep learning approaches Coconut and Codex. However, what sets GPT apart is its ability to not only fix the code but also provides an explanation of the problem. It also offers a dialogue system for further information. This means that you can interact with it by describing the issue you are experiencing in a plain language. It will then analyze the code and provide suggestions for potential solution or explanation for the error. You can also use it to search for relevant documentation and resources to help you resolve this issue. Tip number five. ChatGPT helps you test your knowledge and prepare for technical interviews. ChatGPT is designed to help you answer questions and improve your answers. It could give you problems to solve as well. Here's an example. 
I'm going to ask for a simple problem to solve in Python. It provides one as well as an overview of what to expect the output looks like. If you don't know how to proceed to solve it, it can help you get started. It will then evaluate your work and suggest your ways of improvement. You can adjust it to your desired level of difficulty and the programming language you are working on. JGPT can also suggest resources where you can practice coding in your preferred language. All you have to do is ask. Let's try asking for resources to practice solving Python problems. It gave me a variety of sources such as HackerRank, LeadCode, etc. and even attached the links to that direct to the website. Once you feel ready enough to start applying for jobs, ChatGPT can once again come to the rescue. It can be very helpful for technical interviews that requires a lot of critical thinking. You can get it to provide you with questions and then evaluate your responses based on their accuracy and efficiency. Now here's the catch. ChatGPT is a powerful tool, but it can also make you lazy. It's easy to fall into the trap of relying too much on the bot and to do all the work for you. But let's think of it in this way. If you want to learn how to drive, Getting a self-driving Tesla won't teach you anything. Programming is no different. It takes a lot of practice. You need to get your hands on experience and make mistakes. So instead of relying on ChatGPT to do all the work for you, treat it as your personal assistant. Use it to get guidance and advices whenever you need it. But make sure you're doing the work and putting the, in the effort to learn as, and grow as a coder. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope that these tips have been helpful to you. If you want to see more of my content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe.